Alrighty, Hasses, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about operations. Now, operations are the small mathematical formulas that you can use in CSS. Now, that probably sounds like the most boring thing ever, CSS mathematical formulas. <laughs> now that I say it out loud, it kind of does, but I'll show you guys how useful this is. So, say that you had a core style for, I don't know, maybe your button. And you want to make like a jumbo button, which is a little bit bigger, and a lighter button, which is, you know, the same color but a tidbit lighter. Well, that is when you would want to use operations. And in order to demonstrate this, first let's make the base core styling. So I'm going to make variables, and this is going to kind of encompass everything we learned up to this point. So I'll say button, background, and I'll just say uh, the 006699. It's one of my favorite colors. Now the button color is just the text color that's on the button. I'll just say it's white, FFF. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make a variable called button padding. And the padding of these buttons is going to be 5 pixels by default. So a pretty simple button. And whenever we make this button, or an element has this button class, we want to say use these properties. So for that background, button background, color is button color, and for the padding, you guys could probably guess button padding. Simple enough. And I actually should probably display this as a inline block that might be a little bit easier to see what I'm about to do alright so now we have our core main generic button that inherits from all of these styles it doesn't inherit it, it uses variables but whatever so I decided that you know what I also want to have a jumbo button which is a bigger version of it and also a lighter button so I'm gonna make another class called jumbo button and what we can actually do is we can actually use mixins Remember, instead of copying all these or even using those variables, we can just use mixins. And what that does is it pulls everything right from here. But now, for my jumbo button, I actually want to add more padding to the default. So instead of just using padding and giving it, um, you know, something like uh, 30 pixels, what I can do is this: I can take the original padding for the button using at button padding and I can actually use a mathematical operation like plus 30. Now since we're using this variable right here, it knows to add 30 pixels. You don't have to tell it, um, you don't even need to say pixels or you know whatever other type of units. It knows that the padding for this jumbo button is now going to be 35. 5 plus our 30. And let's just, uh, for demonstration purposes, let's make one more a light button. So this is just going to be a different color. So for this button style, we're of course going to use a mixin to inherit all of this stuff from the button class. And also for the background, which is the color, what we want to do is we want to use button background, which is that generic blue, but we want to multiply it by 1.6. And that's just going to lighten up. Whenever you um, multiply it, it brings you closer to white. So this is going to give us a lighter button. Actually, let me make it a little bit more so it's even easier to see. And uh, look at what this gets compiled to. So you can actually see right here what the new color is. So this is our original. And don't worry about like the hex because, again, it's all taken care of you. If you want to make it lighter, then just increase this value. If you want to make it darker, then you can like uh, times it by something less than one and boom you'll be good to go. So let me actually add a couple buttons now. So A make a dead link and for this first one I'll just write like a normal. And of course for this one we're just going to use the class of button and I'll do one of each. So button, jumble button, and light button button and light button. So normal, jumbo, and light. So 
now if we check it out that is from my old tutorial all right so here is our normal one here is our jumbo one with remember we added 30 pixels of padding and here is our lighter one where we took the original background color and we multiplied it by one point I don't even know 1.8 see it looks a little bit too light so let me bump that down look at that so maybe you want to use this for um, hover so for example this is your normal and whenever you hover over it it lightens up a little bit kind of an indicator to the user that hey they are you know actually touching this button and now if you ever want to go back and let's say change the color of this button to I don't know maybe this baby poop green color and I don't know maybe we wanted to add like a border radius to give it a nice um, I don't know it's like a four pixel then what we do is we just change it in one location right here and since all of our other rules that depended on that color we don't have to change it in these locations because since we use these formulas this is automatically going to be lighter without having to update it manually so check it out we now get normal jumbo and light they're all updated thanks to our brilliant knowledge of less so how awesome is that and uh, yeah we now learn how to use less with not only variables with not only mix-ins but also these awesome formulas and it's making maintaining this CSS which would usually be a pain a whole lot easier so there you go see you guys next video